Okay, so basically, if you haven't read this book, it's about a boy named Arnold Spirit Jr., also known as Jr. His friends call him Jr., but he doesn't have that many friends because he was born with too much cerebral final... <laughs> final? <laughs> too much cerebral spinal fluid in his skull. Yes. So anyway, Jr., he has, like, all this, like operations that he had to go through when he was a kid and now he has one friend named Rowdy. Rowdy is like super tough, super mean. He doesn't have any friends except for Junior. So they're like best buddies, you know. But then Junior decides to switch schools to a school called Reardon, which is an all white school. Oh yeah, he lives in an Spokane Indian reservation in Washington. And yeah. He went to Wellpinit High School or middle yeah. school. Wellpinit school is Wellpinit. And that's where, like, everyone on the reservation goes to school. But then he decided to switch schools to Reardon, which is a school 22 miles away from the reservation is Reardon. And he decides to switch school to go to Reardon. And the reason he decides to switch to Reardon is um, to get a better education than he would get on the reservation. Then he joins the basketball team at Reardon, and he makes a bunch of new friends. But when he switches to Reardon, Rowdy gets super mad at him, feels like he's been betrayed, and beats him up and they're no longer friends. After he joins the basketball team at Reardon, they play against Welpinit, and there's this whole big like basketball like game, and stuff happens. I'm not going to spoil the book, but anyway, it's cool because the whole book is about um, Arnold, or Junior, feeling like he has these two different identities, and like he's he has his like family on the reservation and then he has his friends at Reardon and then he has to like play on a basketball team against his old friends so yeah it's interesting yeah and like um he like Arnold has to like I, I'm not going to like, say like all those specific things he has to go through but like he has to go through like a lot of like obstacles I guess like a lot of people like call him names and like make racist comments about him and yeah so yeah that's basically what the book is about This is Arnold Spirit Jr. He's the main character of the book, and he comes from a low-income family who lives on a Spokane Indian reservation in Washington. Throughout the book, he experiences challenges with friends, families, and school. Rowdy is Arnold's best friend, and he lives on the reservation. His parents are abusive, and he's brutally honest with Arnold. However, he also tends to hide his feelings and doesn't tell Arnold his true emotions. Due to his abusive parents, Rowdy relies on Arnold a lot. Okay, so what did you think about the book? I really enjoyed reading this book and uh, it like it gave me like a, like a feeling. It was like looking at my child grow, I guess. I mean, I've never had a child before. Yeah, just watching like Arnold like going through this like all these like challenges in his life and this these obstacles it was like kind of like heartbreaking and like that like, I cried and stuff yeah it was really interesting yeah I think I had less of a connection than you oh. I liked the book but it wasn't like one of the best books I've ever read and I thought that like the writing itself was really good and I think that's what I liked about the book more than the plot like I wasn't that interested in the actual story, but the writing, like the style of writing, I really liked. So yeah, it was good, but not like one of the best books I've ever read. So I think you had a more, yeah, a, a much stronger connection than I did. I didn't really feel any of that. So this book is actually heavily based on the author's early life. And the author, Sherman Alexie, he also had too much cerebral spinal fluid in his head. So he had to go through an operation when he was only six months old. He constantly had seizures. A lot of people thought that he, would, he wouldn't survive the operation, but now he's here writing a book. So in eighth grade, he moved from Wellpinit, which was his original school located in the Spokane Indian Reservation in Washington. And yeah, he, he moved to Reardon, which is an all-white town. And when he attended college, he started to abuse alcohol. After his first work was published in 1999, it motivated him to stop drinking. I think this is one of the reasons why I like this book a lot, 
Yeah, it's because it's basically the author's life and we're reading it and it gets really interesting and cool. So the book length, it was pretty short. It just took me like um, a couple of hours to finish. I just finished the whole thing in like one day. It took me five hours, but I read it over two days. Yeah, so it's like a really short, like good, like read, I guess. Yeah.